This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 27. And it reads, The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. To depart from the snares of death. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and the glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the temple of King David, scattered through the four corners of the earth, and to you I say, Shalom. And it's your brother Debar Kabash coming back at you from the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina camp with a quick lesson to edify through the Rakak Wadach, which is the Holy Spirit. And Lord willing, somebody will be edified by this lesson here, man. This is another reason, right? Why we should fear the Lord, man. You see, now I was just, you know, uh, uh, scrolling past my phone, right? You know, listen to all the brothers and, you know, this right here popped up, man. Right? And I want to read... All right about what happened to this gal here man you see this is why we should fear the lord man because when we fear the lord right lord willing right it delivers us you know or we're being snared from the uh we're being spared from death man you see but as you see right here and this is another example right of another individual right who didn't receive that mercy man you know so, you know, let's just go ahead and read this here. Uh, this is from NBC News, and it reads, Georgia woman, right, gets stuck under conveyor, dies while trying to get AirPod, authorities say. You see that? So this gal here, right, was pretty much put to death, right? She got crushed under a machine or, you know, under a, 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 a pretty much got caught under a conveyor belt, man. You see, and hey, man, let me tell you something. I want to say uh, last year sometime, right, I actually got my arm caught in a conveyor belt, man. Right, and let me tell you, man, the machines, they, they're they very, they're very, very powerful, man. You see, so, you know, when you suddenly get jerked, right, hey, man, you know, that's, you know, me personally, you know, I thought I was ready to receive judgment myself, man. But I was spared, man. You see, but the Lord didn't spare this young woman here, man. You see? You know, and, and you already see what time it is. Come, brothers, right? Tracks, weaves, and wigs. You see? So, you know, you already know what's going on here. And it reads, a Georgia woman was found dead last week after she dropped an air pod under a conveyor belt and got caught in a chain that moves the, uh, the machine while reaching for authorities say, you see? So yeah, man, right? And you know, I'm pretty sure she wasn't listening to one of the brothers, right? You know, doing a video, you know? So whatever she was listening to, that was it for her, man. Anyway, it says, according to an incident report from the Columbia Country Sheriff's Office, a witness told investigators that the line worker, uh, a laser drunker, 21, dropped the air pod below the conveyor while on shift at a plant for a club car around 9.45 p.m. Friday, you see? And it says the company makes golf carts and other vehicles, All right? I've seen them around. It says, when she tried to get the ear part from under the machine, she got caught in the chain that moves the conveyor. The witness said, according to report, due to the way Drunkard, right, was pinned, the witness identified as follow, like as fellow workers, uh, Physesia Smith, something like that, was not able to get her out. You see, so, hey man, Right, if you notice, you know, the Lord is putting the spirit on a lot of these people, right? Not to be able to help Jake out, man. Just like that young boy that died in the Tesla. Right, he's just screamed for help. And what the young boy say, I can't help you, bro. 
You know, so this gal here, you know, she I, ain't no way I can help you. You caught. You know, so, you know, matter of fact, let me keep reading this here. Right, I'm going to grasp the scriptures. It says, uh, it says, continuing on, it says, um, so she called for maintenance to come uh, get her out. So she called, uh, let me see here. So she called for maintenance to come get her out. And maintenance came pretty much to come uh, sh uh, shut the machine down. They began taking it apart, right? Once the machine was down and called 911, the report said, you see? So she probably, you know, that, that machine, oh, that machine probably was, you know, still had its kinetic energy built up the whole time. And it just had that young gal caught up under there, man. You see? And you know Jake slow trying to call for help. You know? Damn. You know? And again, you know, this is why we should definitely fear. You know, but Jake don't got no fear, man. You see that? See, Jake talk, you know, Jake talk all that smack right when they're not receiving judgment. You see? Let me just go to hell. All right, until your ass bend down and uh, uh bend down to uh reach for an ear part somewhere, man. See and get mangled. You know, let's read a scripture here, man, because scriptures tell you that it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And a lot of you people, like you got, man. Let me see. Uh, it is a fearful thing. Right? This is a, man, it's a fearful thing. You people out there, you know, think that the Lord is a joke, is a game. Right? Talking about spitting in his space. Hebrews 10 30. For we for we know him that saith vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord, and again the Lord shall judge his people. You see that? So this is why you see in judgment, right, happening the way it is. And it's gonna get it's, it's gonna intensify, man. Right? This girl here, you know, getting caught under a machine, this ain't nothing, man. Let's keep going here. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living power. You see that? Let's grab this here, man. Greater evils. You know, because this right here, this is nothing, man. So we talk about greater evils. Second Ezra 14, 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen. And what am I showing you now? A young girl getting caught under a, a damn conveyor belt. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. You see that? So worse shit is getting ready to happen, man. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age. So much more evil shall increase upon them that dwell therein. You see? So yeah, man. All right? This, this, you know, this ain't nothing here, man. All right? Imagine six, seven people getting caught under a machine at one time. Anyway, it says emergency personnel freed Drunkard from uh, Grove Town by cutting the metal frame from around the conveyor and pulled her out. The report indicated Drunkard still had a pulse when she was freed, right, from the machine. And I'm pretty sure, you know, she probably still had a pulse Right? Because, you know, when you get caught under a machine, right, a lot of adrenaline is rushing through you, man, because you want to get out. Anyway, Junker still had a pulse when she was freed from the machine, and emergency personnel performed life-saving measures on her before she was hospitalized, the incident report said. Club car did not respond to the NBC News request to uh, comment, da 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 you know, so you pretty much get it. Uh, this girl's gone. Let me see here. So that's pretty much it. You know, I'm, I'm, yeah, man. She died, bro. I'm not going to read all this because it's kind of lengthy. You can read it yourself. You know, this young girl here, man, you know, caught under a goddamn machine. All right. So eventually, man, eventually judgment catches up with everybody. This is why we, hey, hey, man, this is why we should tread very lightly, man. <clears throat> so you got the prophets prophesying out here, but Jake want to uh, talk trash. And the Lord is 
constantly hanging around judgment left and right, but people still act like, right, they could just do and say whatever the hell they want to say, right? Until your ass bend down somewhere, right, and get caught, right, by a chain and get swept away under a damn machine. Okay? So I just wanted to, you know, put this out there, brothers and sisters, you know. Seek the Lord, man, and fear him, right? Let's go ahead and grab that. Whosoever, man, whosoever, right, will not seek the Lord God of Israel. Let's, let's bring it out. This is the book of Second Chronicles. I ain't been here in, in, in quite some time. Second Chronicles chapter 15, I'm going to start at verse 12. And they talk about who? The Israelites. And they enter into a covenant to seek the Lord, right? Their power of their fathers, which all their heart and with all their soul. You see, so this is why it's important, right? And this is why you see the brothers doing that now, man. And you got a few sisters, you know, doing their best. We're all, you know, uh, 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 doing our absolute best. But the individuals that are not doing it, they're not rehearsing the righteous acts. That's okay. All right? Let's find out what's happening to them. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel. You see that? So a lot of people out there, they're not seeking the Lord God of Israel. Right? They're seeking a false God. Right? They're seeking to, uh, 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 seeking ear pods. Right? Seeking to do TikTok videos about, uh, 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 about letting me just burn in hell. You see that? We're seeking Hebrew Israelite board games. That whosoever will not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. You see that? So just want to do this lesson here real quick through the spirit power of Yahweh Shema Washah. Right? You better fear the Lord quickly. Until the next time I say, Shalom.